New York City Fire Commissioner Robert D. Lowry gave Johnny the opportunity to fulfill a childhood dream, a chance to be a fireman. I'm ready to go. <laughs> Alert, fearless, <laughs> cold. It was a little chilly that morning. Well, now, this is uh, Italian Chief Marty Cajas here, and I had the collar in the wrong position. <laughs> He's an excellent instructor. <laughs> I did everything wrong. It's been too long since I... Now, this is the way they start today. The they usually, they usually start off with, I think, 20 or 25 of these. But they gave me a break and kept it to 10. That's just warming up for the work to come afterwards. That's right. This is... Uh... <laughs> oh, I made them. <laughs> Now, this is the, what they call the scaling ladder operation. They have a five-story building here, which is a permanent building that they use to, to train in. And these are scaling ladders, which are handed up and hooked over the sill of the window and then passed on to the next fireman who passes it on up through the window, climbs up, and then the sequence is that each one is handed on. You have a belt around you. There I come. You grab the middle of it, which they call the... Uh, I forgot what they call it. And then you hook on, you see, with a, with a belt. And the idea, they want you to lean back. I get, you get used to uh, not having your own, uh, depending on your hands at all times. Yes, and it's also to uh, make sure that the men are familiar with the ladders. They lose any fear of height. That is a strange feeling when you look up and you're just leaning back. You say there. Jump! <laughs> now, this is, as I say, five stories, which is about 50 feet, 55 feet, I would guess. And they're going to lower me over the side. This is a way, in an emergency, they can lower you by just an ordinary line. This is fireman Arthur Tromberta, <laughs> who is uh, cinching me up here. Now, this is a rescue operation that's not performed too frequently, but uh, it is one that we have used over a number of years to save lives. The ladder isn't available. You where the ladder isn't available. That's correct. And further unable to use a fire escape or an interior stairway. They just kind of wrap you up here, and, uh, and the other fireman uh, then uses his weight against yours and just lowers you uh, down the side of the building. And then again, they ask you not to use your hands or uh, anything, just, just to lay back. to hang on to the side and then let your weight down gradually to take up the tension on the line, you see. He says, let go. He says, let go with your hands. And conceivably, if at a fire passing the third floor window, you would take someone out and bring them down to the... Uh, you could pick up someone on the way. Right. Is it a plane? Is it a bird? Oh, no, it's super fireman. <laughs> It is an interesting experience. They do have a net down at the bottom just in case anything would happen to go wrong. I fainted from terror, fear. <laughs> now this is the, uh, that uh, extension ladder that is right on the truck mm. that is put into position on the windows. Aerial ladder, I guess, is what they would... It is. That's the uh, traditional aerial ladder. I think that one is 85 foot and fully extended. A piece of equipment costs around $45,000 for correct. that truck. It's one of the two basic uh, pieces of apparatus. The uh, pumper is the other major unit. Now, this is just a little... Uh, in case you have to bail out. I always wanted to ride on the back of the fire truck as a kid. Now, the 
this is stretching a hose line. Uh, the officer makes a determination of how many lengths to pull off based on the distance, the height of the building. Now, they really get to me. This last thing here is what they call the smokehouse. They actually build a fire in here, a good roaring fire, and these steel windows close so they can build up a very high intensity of smoke. And when you go in there, you actually can see absolutely nothing. We're going in. I'm ahead there with a the nozzle, you see, and they got, they got the pressure on. And there I am again. There's a, there's a fire in there. Oh, it's a, that's the pressure of the hose. I want to tell you, here I come back out again. <laughs> you really can't see in there. The, the trick is to keep low to the deck so you can breathe. Uh, but it's very intense, very acrid smell. And this is just a small uh, blaze, so you can imagine what it must be like when they actually go into a, a tremendous fire, because you're completely disoriented. It is. You're unable to see and uh, subjected to tremendous heat and smoke. You have no blows. sense of direction whatsoever. And, of course, you're always in unfamiliar surroundings. These, there's uh, Chief Cahayas there. That's when they call Yogi Bear, and I called him Yogi, and they all broke up. Some of the young fellows call him Captain Bly. <laughs> <laughs> Captain Bly? <laughs> but he does a tremendous job. He's an excellent instructor. He certainly is.